Yo, yo, what's up, Gary? Corey Gregory here. Just pulled up to the gym. Wake your ass up! 4 a.m. That's what you get when you add, right here, Corey G Fitness on Snapchat. So here's my question. I'm a serial fitness entrepreneur. I've been in business since I was 20 years old. So it's going on 18 years now, and I love it. I'm known for on Snapchat, um, showing that daily accountability, that wake your ass up, and, and it's nonstop. I'm also known for content in my space, but I've never had like a personal video guy that just followed me around like D-Rock. Tell me the difference it means to your business to have a guy like that. I think I already know the, the answer, but I'm thinking about taking that next step and truly having somebody capture what it's taken me to do, what I've done in my career, and I'll end with this. We will be friends, so I'll see you soon. Thanks. Corey, I think it comes down to um, if you've got something interesting to say or if the content's interesting, it has an impact because the storytelling is good. You know, as great as D-Rock is at cinematography or editing or Tyler or Dunk or Stefan or fucking Steven Spielberg, if the subject matter isn't good, um, it, it won't have upside, even us, and I think nobody's living a more fast-paced, um, serendipitous for creative content opportunity than I am, but look, you know, it's a repetitive grind, you know, it's a challenge for these guys to edit and make a creative storytelling. We're starting to interview people within the organization. We have to mix it up because the fact of the matter is a lot of our lives take on a similar cadence. And so doing something daily, you know, people like Casey and other people that do it extremely well, they make, you know, they, they look for the story, they create the story. I'm not doing that. I'm documenting over creating. And so I want to show that grind. But dude, there's only so many times you can yell at us at 4 a.m. and saying, let's go. Go, you know, and so I, I think I think the impact on your business and your career and your brand will be that if you've got chops, if you're actually interesting enough, um, if there's things going on, especially if they're not fabricated or created for that scenario and they're authentic, um, more people will be interested in what you've got. You create a wider net. You get an opportunity then to speak to them. I mean, some of the vlog, the vlogging we're doing allows more people to get into my ecosystem and allows me to drill home the four or five things that I feel passionate about telling the world because I want them to win. I think if you know if you're there to to sell products or supplements or magazine covers, if I was here for selling you know, VaynerMedia or selling wine or my book, I think they would have less upside. So I also think not only is the storytelling matter, but what is the, um, what is the uh, thing you are trying to accomplish really matters in the scenario of vlogging. I think Casey, for example, and I have a lot of love for him, like genuinely just is a, is a filmmaker and wants to tell stories and that's why it does well. There's gonna be a lot of people that vlog that aren't gonna do well because they suck.